talking. This was not an accident. This was on purpose. He was the target. But like I said, I can't say nothing else. You know, I can't bring him back. But like I said, they're in heaven. They're in a better place. They really are. In no place in this world, they're not in hell. They ain't heaven. They in a better place. And the other people that was in the plane with them, they also in a better place. But keep your, keep your daughter life alive. Keep your husband life alive. You, you know, a lot of people that your husband touch is hurting too. But I understand you hurting worse because that's your husband. And I'm sorry that you go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you have to go through this, my sweetie. But. You are strong enough as a woman, as a mother, as a person, you know, to stay down in, in no matter what. Don't let the devil tell you you cannot fight this war because you can. You can. Trust me, you are not alone. We are here with you and we will fight with you, okay? You know what I'm saying? We will fight this war with you in the end of the day. You are never alone. We are here constantly with you. If you're not there physically, we are there with you spiritually. Okay? And I'm just so sorry that you lost your husband like that. They're supposed to not to men like that. But, but in the end of the day, God is in control. And please, I will pray for you. In the end of the day, you are stronger as a woman. You cannot stay down. You will get up. And trust me, God is the man... Who gonna get you in the position you you thought in the world that the devil that like the devil wanted you to not even get there, but you will get there. You and your kids will be there. In the end of the day, whatever God is trying to stop you because you lost your husband, that is not gonna be the end of that behind it. You will get there. Even you have your own business. Trust me, you're gonna still stay successful. In the end of the day, your kids are going to be success not because of you and your husband it's because of what y'all set them to do you know y'all y'all made this whatever your kids want to be let them be that but i am like again i am so sorry and i will pray for you my heart goes out to you my heart goes out not only to you, but the family that lost their own, the other family member. My heart goes out to y'all. And no matter what I say or done, I'm sorry. I can't say nothing else to bring this man back, but I can say this. God is keeping them close. Trust me. God is keeping them close. And they might, it might seem not like that to you right now. Because, you know, you're going through a lot right at this moment. But trust me, they're in a better place. And there's no way God's going to allow nothing. And nothing can happen to them up there. Nothing. You got two guardian angels. Going to be in your shoulder. Please, keep your faith up. Don't give up. Don't be miscouraged. Keep your faith up. And keep fighting. Keep fighting this. You will make it. And you will make it stronger, better, and greater. Please. Let's pray for this. Please, let's pray for Kobe Bryant family. Okay? Let's pray for Kobe Bryant family. Let's pray for each other. Let's keep our eye, one eye open, one eye closed. And please. We are fighting this spiritual battle. But this is not the end of this spiritual battle. This is just the beginning. Those who are trying to stop us cannot stop us. Because why? We are better than this. Basically, let me reverse this. We are better than this because God is on our corner. You might... Oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry. My thing failed. You might not think that right now. But trust me and believe me, sweetie. You are. You are better. You are better than this. Okay, you are better than this. I'm a living proof that what God can do as you as a person, as you as a mother, as you as a daughter, as you as a niece, God is a living proof. 
But let's pray for each other and our family. Let's pray for his wife and his daughter and the other family member. Thank you. Please. One eye, please. One eye open, one eye close. Let's fight this spiritual battle together. And let's win this war. Thank you so much. I love you guys. And please be safe out here.